Hey, shalom brothers and sisters, welcome back. I thank you again for joining me. Well, today I'm going to continue uh, the recipes of the unleavened bread. Uh, I hope the last video, if you haven't missed it, check it out. But uh, anyways, I'm going to continue with these recipes because this is a nice book and everything. And, uh, and oh, by the way, by the way, I just wanted, like the last video, if you could tell me who wrote this, if it's a church or if it was, a, you know, who it was. There ain't no church affiliation, no author, no nothing involved in this. Like I said, I picked it up and looked at it. I was, you know, I just, uh, but it don't say nothing in it about anything. It's just recipes here. You know, it's a little binder here, you know, a little binder. But uh, anyways, uh, I want to continue with this. Anyways. Uh, we're going to go to popovers, popovers, uh, and it says here, two secrets for popovers, preheat the baking cups and mix batter in blender, mix only until well mixed, don't uh, overdo it, changing half the flour to wheat flour is delicious, but the popovers will not be uh, as high. And anyways, popovers number one. Here's number one. You need one large egg, one and a half uh, teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoon of oil or melted butter, one cup of milk or one half cup or one and a half water, uh, one cup flour sifted, one uh, teaspoon of sugar is optional. Here it says, start oven 10 minutes before baking. Set at 450 degrees. Butter butter a pop over pan with 9 to 12 medium cups or use custard cups. Uh, heat 3 to 4 minutes in oven. Mix flour, salt, sugar, and uh, re-sift into mixing bowl. Combine egg, uh, combine milk, egg, and butter. Add to flour mixture. Uh, then beat thoroughly with rotary uh, rotary uh, beater a minute or two. Batter should be uh, bubbly. Pour batter quickly into the hot pan or cups, uh, half full. Place in hot oven and bake 15 minutes. Okay, then reduce heat to 300 degree, 350 degrees and bake 15 minutes longer. Now we got pop -offs, uh, popovers number two. Uh, uh, four eggs, two cups of milk, two cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of oil, and one half teaspoon of vanilla. And it says here, heat oven to 450 degrees, grease, uh, 12 deep custard cups for 16 medium ones. Beat eggs slightly, then add milk, flour, and salt. Beat till smooth. Add oil and vanilla mix. Do not overbeat. Pour into cups and bake 25 minutes. Lower oven temperature to 350 degrees and bake for 15 to 20 minutes more. Remove uh, from pan immediately and serve warm. Now we'll go to the Dutch baby uh, popovers. Uh, it says six large eggs, and you're going to also need uh, one cup of flour, one half teaspoon of salt, one cup of milk, two uh, tablespoons of butter melted, and two tablespoons of shortening. And it says here, uh, make batter at least one. Uh, yeah, make batter at least one hour before baking, or eat, or even a day ahead. Put eggs, flour, salt, milk, and butter into blender. Cover and blend 30 seconds at medium speed until smooth. Cover batter and let stand up to four hours at room temperature or chill overnight. Heat oven at 450 degrees using one tablespoon of shortening for each uh, okay grease two nine inch metal pie pans or oven proof iron skillet 
Place greased pans and oven for five minutes to heat. Uh, pour batter into uh, pans and bake 20 minutes. Reduce oven temperature to 350 degrees and bake five to 10 minutes longer until the edges are puffed and golden. Remove to uh, warm serving plates and cut into wedges. Make eight servings. Good with syrup or any kind of fruit sauce. It says here about the strawberry sauce. Thaw one uh, 10 ounce package of frozen uh, strawberries. Mix one quarter cup of water and one half uh, teaspoon cornstarch in a one quart uh, saucepan. Stir in strawberries and one teaspoon fresh uh, grated lemon peel. Stir over moderate heat until it comes to a full boil. So we got that there. And that does sound pretty good. Uh, next one is cheese. Pop over uh, puffs. You're going to need one cup of flour, one and a half uh, teaspoon of salt, one cup of milk, two eggs, one tablespoon of margarine melted, a quarter of a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. And it says here, combine all ingredients except cheese. Beat at modern, uh, uh, beat at medium speed until smooth. Stir in cheese. Heat a well greased uh, oven pan in a hot oven for three minutes. Spoon and batter, filling two thirds full. Bake at 425 degrees for 15 minutes. Uh, reduce heat to 350 degrees and bake 25 minutes until golden brown. Uh, serve immediately. Do not open door while baking. Okay, that sounds simple. Now we're going to go to the cottage cheese rolls. That's an interesting one, the cottage cheese rolls. You're going to need one half cup of margarine, one cup of flour, and one cup of uh, cottage cheese. That's a simple ingredients right there. It says here, mix ingredients together well and refrigerate eight hours or overnight. Divide dough into two balls. Roll out one at a time as uh, for pie crust on a well-floured surface. Cut into wedges and roll up each piece starting with a uh, wide end. Place on cookie sheet and bake 30 minutes at 350 degrees. But if desired, frost with powdered sugar thinned with milk while rolls are still uh, warm. All right, now we're going to go to uh, something a little different here. Cookies. I can't believe it. Now I'm getting really um, getting really hungry over the cookies. Oh, yeah, I really am. But uh, it's going to talk about some cookie delicious stuff. And uh, cookies right here. Okay, we're going to start with the co coconut cookies. And for that, you're going to need five eggs beaten, one half uh, cup of sugar, one cup of matzo meal, a quarter uh, teaspoon salt, two cups of shredded coconut fresh, two lemons, uh, juice and grated uh, rind. It says here to the well-beaten eggs, gradually sift in the sugar and beat until light. Add remaining ingredients in the order named. Mix well. Sprinkle a cookie sheet with a little extra matzo meat meal. Drop cookies on this by a teaspoon. Bake in 325 degrees for 30 minutes, increasing the heat to 350 for uh, for last uh, 10 minutes. Make about two dozens. Okay. Now next here we're gonna go for uh, almond uh, macaroon kiss cookies. I've never heard of that. I probably have ate them, but I don't know. You're gonna need three eggs, three ounce uh, cream cheese, one half uh, cups of flour, a quarter cup of uh, granulated sugar, a half cup of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of almond flavor, 14 ounce of coconut, and you need chocolate candy kisses. It says here a mix of uh, cream cheese, flour, granulated uh, sugar, powdered sugar, almond flavoring together. Then add well-beaten eggs, then coconut. 
cover cookie uh, sheet with heavy paper, such as grocery sack type thing, cut to fit. Don't grease. Bake at 300 degrees about 30 minutes. Remove from paper with a spatula while uh, still warm. Top uh, with candy kiss while warm. Make about three. You can make about three dozen. Now we'll go to the walnut coconut oatmeal. Choose. And for this, here's what the ingredients are. Two cups of quick cooking rolled oats. One cup brown sugar. One and a half cup of oil, and a half a teaspoon salt, one teaspoon vanilla, two eggs slightly beaten, three quarters cup chopped walnuts, and one cup flaked uh, coconut. And it says here, mix oats, sugar, and oil in a large bowl. Let stand in the refrigerator. Add remaining ingredients, mix well, drop from a spoon in a small mounds on a well-greased baking sheet, pat out with back a spoon, making two inch rounds, bake at 350 degrees for uh, eight to 10 minutes, it says here. Okay. Now, we'll go to the carrot cookies. I'm not really a carrot, carrot guy myself, but if you are, yeah, just don't, like I said, just hey, get notes on this stuff. Uh, anyways, carrot, co uh, carrot cookies, you're going to need one cup of butter, margarine, or shortening. Uh, two cups of flour sifted, one half cup of sugar, one half uh, teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of cinnamon, uh, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of vanilla, one egg slightly beaten, one cup finely grated carrots, one half cup of chopped nuts, then you need uh, powdered sugar to top that off. It says here, cream, cream shortening until fluffy, sift flour, sugar, and salt, and spices all together. Add to shortening and mix well. Uh, add vanilla, egg, carrots, and nuts. Form into two rolls one inch in diameter wrap in wax paper and chill at least for two hours slice one half inch uh thick and place on ungreased cookie sheets baked in uh bacon preheated 375 degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes roll in powdered sugar until uh they are warm the next one here is shortbread cookies shortbread one and one half cup of butter, three quarter cup of sugar, one egg, <clears throat> one uh, teaspoon of vanilla or lemon flavoring, and three one half uh, cups of flour. And it says here, it's a simple thing: it's mix, roll thin, and cut with a cookie cutter. Bake ten to fifteen minutes or until light brown on bottom at three hundred and fifty degrees. Sprinkle with sugar or frost. <clears throat> Next, we'll go to the uh, butter pecan cookies. It says here, one cup butter or margarine, softened. Uh, Two-thirds cup packed brown sugar, one egg, two cups of flour, and then pecan halves. And it says here, uh, cream butter and sugar, blend an egg, stir together flour and one-half teaspoon of salt. Stir into a uh, cream mixture. Chill one hour, uh, form into one inch balls, place two inch apart from ungreased cookie sheet, flatten the one direction with fork tines, uh, top each with a pecan half, bake at 375 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, now I got something that does sound good because I, I love peanut butter cookies. I really do. And here's, here's something about peanut butter cookies. Okay, you're gonna need one half cup of margarine, one half uh, cup of peanut butter, one cup brown sugar, two eggs, one and a half cup of flour, and just a pinch of salt right there. Just a pinch right there. Uh, it says here, mix all together, mix into one inch balls and flatten out. Put on greased cookie sheet and crisscross with a fork and bake at 375 degrees for 
10 to 12 minutes. Now we're going to go to uh, the Raisin Clusters No-Bake Cookies, basically. And here it is. You need one half cup margarine, three, three quarters uh, cup of sugar, one cup of chopped raisins, one egg heaten, uh, beaten, one tablespoon of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla, one half cup of chopped nuts, two and a half cups of puffed wheat, a quarter teaspoon salt, and shredded coconut. And right here it says, in a saucepan, melt margarine, add sugar, raisins, egg, milk, vanilla, and salt. Uh, bring to boil. And it says here, be careful, it burns easily. Boil two minutes, add cereal and nuts, mix well, cool slightly, down, uh, drop by the, drop by spoon onto coconut and roll to coat. Place on wax paper to cool. Okay. Now the next one here is molasses crunch. Molasses crunch. And here's the ingredients. One and one half cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. One quarter a uh, cup of uh, light molasses. One tablespoon of butter. One uh, tablespoon of uh, butter and, and water. Different ones. Uh, one and one half cup of toasted ready to eat crisp, crisp rice cereal. Or rice krispies. And one half cups of raisins. It says here in the medium saucepan, mix the chocolate, molasses, butter, and water. Place over low heat, stirring constantly until the chocolate and butter melt. Remove the heat, add the cereal and raisins, and mix well. Drop by teaspoons onto wax paper. Refrigerate until set. For a variety, add chopped nuts or marshmallows. Okay, now we'll go to the uh cornflake cookies a simple simple one right here just a couple ingredients and it's one cup of light corn syrup one cup of sugar one cup of peanut butter and seven cups of cornflakes it says here bring syrup and sugar in uh, bring uh, bring syrup syrup and sugar to a rolling boil blend in peanut butter pour over cornflakes drop by teaspoon onto waxed paper okay we got that uh, now next unleavened pecan uh, sandies <laughs> here's what's for that uh, one cup of butter three quarter cup of sugar one and one half teaspoon of vanilla two and one quarter cup of flour and one cup of grounded pecans and it says here cream butter until light and fluffy Add sugar gradually, cream well, add vanilla, slowly add flour, then nuts, roll small balls of dough in palms of the hand, place on ungreased cookie sheet and flatten, top with pecan half, which is optional, bake at 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes until slightly browned, uh, do not over bake, it's stressing that. Remove from cookie sheet immediately and cool on wire rack. Okay. Now here's another one. No bake fudge cookies. And that does sound good too. Here's the ingredients. Two cups of quick oats uncooked. One cup chocolate chips. One cup raisins. One and a half cup coconut. One and a half uh, cups uh, chopped nuts. One, uh, two cups of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, one half cup of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter pound butter or margarine. Uh, it says here, add first five ingredients in a small bowl, bring next five to a boil, uh, combine together and stir until chocolate syrup melt. Cool slightly and drop by spoon on wax paper. Let stand until firm. For variety, use three quarter cup chocolate chips and one quarter cup of butterscotch. Add several tablespoons of peanut butter to boiled mixture. Add a quarter to one half cup wheat germ to oat mixture. All right. 
Now we'll go to the almond butter balls. I hope you guys are still taking note of this. I mean, this stuff does sound delicious. And I do love sweets, but I got to try to minimize my intake of sweets. Almond butter balls. One cup of butter, three tablespoons of uh, confectioners, confectioners sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, one eighth tablespoon of uh, or te one half teaspoon of almond extract, two uh, cups of sifted flour, and one cup of chopped almonds. And it says here, cream butter and sugar, add flavorings. Stir in flour, add almonds, and blend well. Form into tiny balls and place on ungreased cookie sheet. Bake at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Roll in uh, confectioner's sugar while hot. Make about six dozen cookies. Okay. Next, we're going to go to the applesauce cookies. One cup brown sugar, three quarter cup of oil, one cup. Thick applesauce, one half uh, cups of nuts, one egg, a half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla, four cups of rolled oats, and one half cup of flour here. And it says over here, beat down, uh, beat brown sugar and oil together. Add remaining ingredients and mix well. Drop from spoon onto greased baking sheet. Bake at 375 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes until browned. Now we got Mexican wedding cakes here. And you're going to need one cup butter, one and a half cup powdered sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, two cup flour, one and eighth teaspoon of salt, one half uh, cup of chopped pecans. And it says here, Cream butter, powdered sugar, and vanilla. Combine flour, salt, and pecans and stir into butter mixture. Shape into one inch balls. Uh, bake on ungreased baking sheet for 325 degrees for uh, 20 25 minutes until lightly browned. Roll warm cookies into powdered sugar. Cool on racks and roll in sugar again. Now we got wheat germ and oat meal cookies. And here's the ingredients. Three quarter cup of oil, one cup of uh, honey, two tablespoons of molasses, two eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla, two cups of milk powdered sifted, three quarter cups of uh, sifted soy flour, one half cup of raisins or dates, one half cup of chopped walnuts, one teaspoon of salt, one and one half uh, cups of wheat germ, and two cups of oatmeal. And it says here, combine oil, honey, molasses. Add eggs one at a time. Combine dry ingredients and add to liquids, mixing well. Drop by a teaspoonful of lightly oiled cookie sheet. Bake 10 to 12 minutes at 350 degrees. All right, now... We got uh, peanut butter treats right here. Sounds good. Um, one half cups of honey, one half cup of peanut butter, one half cup of confectioner's uh, sugar. Got dash salt, one and a half cups of non-fat dry milk, and one cup of cornflakes. Says here, mix all but cornflakes. Knead until uh, smooth. Shape in one inch balls, then roll into crushed cornflakes. Okay, Ooh, it really sounds pretty good. Uh, I gotta look in this like, wow, this is really, <laughs> it's really delicious. Uh, but anyways, uh, now we're gonna go to uh, healthy honeys. Is that what they're called? I guess they are. Healthy honeys. Never heard of this. A no-cook treat the kitties can make. Okay, here's this. One cup of chunky peanut butter, one cup of honey, one cup of non-fat dry milk, three cups of wheat Chex cereal crushed to one and one-half cups. And then it says here, two cups of rice 
Jack's cereal crust to three quarters cup. Uh, combined peanut butter, honey, dry milk, and wheat checks uh, crumbs. Shape into one inch balls, optional. Uh, press a wheat check square cereal into full each ball. Roll into rice checks crumbs, cover. Uh, chill until firm, about two hours. Makes about five dozen. Best if, re best if refrigerated. Uh, okay. Peanut butter quickies. Okay. Peanut butter quickies. You're going to need two cups of crunchy uh, peanut butter, two eggs beaten, two cups of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla. Uh, combine peanut butter and sugar until creamy. Uh, beat in eggs and vanilla, shape in one inch balls, place two inch apart from grease uh, cookie sheet, flatten by cr crisscrossing with fork, bake at 375 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes until brown, makes about uh, six dozen, so it makes about six dozen there, all right, so that's pretty good right there, and uh, I don't know about you, but this stuff's making me really hungry. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, that's all I'm going to do right now because that is pretty good, and I'm going to have the third part coming up. And if you haven't, if you haven't even uh, checked out the first part of this uh, unleavened bread recipes, uh, I remember I'll put a link link below in my description box so you can do that. But I encourage you to watch that and and uh i thank you again for joining me and also will you please give me a big thumbs up hit that notification bell and also subscribe i'd really appreciate that i'm getting hungry and i know you probably are too after this so also let me know if you guys you know the cook this and how they taste uh you know you get my recipes down you're jotting it down and you try it out let me know what you think about this i really appreciate you know would appreciate the input and everything because i sure i sure am gonna be cooking some of this not all of it i mean but the ones that i like like the peanut butter and things like that but anyways that's all i have to say right now and i thank you guys again for joining me till we meet again brothers and sisters peace out and shalom